Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing with tuning forks. Uh, but before we do that, uh, a really quick introduction <laughs> why I'm doing this. Um, I was recently called to learn Reiki. It is an ancient Japanese healing modality. And um, so I'm level one attuned. Um, I'm posting an experience somewhere uh, in a link here about that specifically. But um, the reason I bring that up is that um, doing Reiki is what um, made me remember that we have this tuning fork set that I believe was used for sound healing. And so I'm just exploring at this point different modalities and I thought it'd be really fun uh, to do a blind react tuning fork video. So for anybody out there who's uh, maybe in the same boat as I am, um, just being very curious about uh, these kinds of things, manipulating energy, bioenergy, stuff like that. Uh, I've literally only played with these for like 10 minutes and then I was like, I have to, let's just make the video. So welcome to this video. We're going to be testing all of these forks um, by simply activating them and then I will just do my best to describe to you uh, my feelings and sensations. That is the way that I've seen people describe the best way to learn how to use tuning forks. There are like some good methods of like application um, and some things to know. So for example, these weighted forks are for self-healing is what I understand and what I've seen online. And then these um, smaller unweighted forks are for um, client work, but I'm going to test them all and we'll just sort of see uh, what comes of it. Each of them are a different frequency and there's a lot of information online about what frequencies are good for what and what you should be using, but I feel like the best way to start, as with anything, is start with what you got and go from there. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to start down here and go um, to this end. Left to right for me, I don't know how it'll appear for you. Tuning fork number one is the frequency of 4,000, what does it say? 85, 4,096. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so I'm waving the fork around, sort of like combing, you know, the energetic field and um, the forks allegedly pick up on distortions, right? And a distortion could, sound, could change the sound of the fork. Um, I feel like I've also experienced it becoming dampened, like quieter. Um, but I'm really just focusing on just playing with where, you know, trying to like comb as many areas as possible and see, just pay attention to the body feeling of it, I guess. And if, um, I've, it, sh it sort of shoots into my ears because it is loud and I got, I'll put a limiter on the audio track here, but so I don't know how it sounds like to you, but um, I feel like it really like activates 
the lower chakras, like, um, for lack of a better word, it sort of like is activating um, the digestive tract. Um, it feels like like butterflies or um, like eating good mushrooms or something. Like that kind of activation, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's interesting. All right, that was the 4096. Now we have 2048. 2048. This one lasts a lot longer. It's such a gentle sensation that it's hard to pick up on, actually. It's like the sound of it instantly just washes a lot of thoughts away, I'll say that. Yeah, this one is, um, it's definitely, I, I can sense that I'm like becoming really relaxed very easily when I listen to that. That's the 2048. Oh, I got two of these, 20, two 2048s. You know what we're gonna do. I'm putting them over my knees. So this bottom of it, I'm pointing it into like the tops of my knees. I'm not touching my knees. I'm just, it's like hovering. Um, and I've been working out, so I got leg cramps. And it does feel. I feel like you know, it's helping with pain relief, but I feel like it's because of the relaxation element where it's just like, it's sort of melting. It's a really nice feeling actually, because I feel like today I've been bouncing around a lot, like back and forth. So this is very, this is helping me already. All right, next we have um, 1024. Tuning fork 1024. These are all in the key of C. I felt that in my throat right away. Again, it's just a relax, like, it's like, it's a body area and then just relaxation. So I just sort of felt like this whole, like a downward 
sort of feeling here. Wow, these are really great relaxing tools. Like, it's it's really quite effective. I even felt like my, there, I could feel the vibration of the fork slightly. Like, it reverberates and it retrains your energy field to the, right, to the, to the tuning fork. Um, powerful relaxation here. Now, I have some tension in my, um, shoulders that is sort of um, when I begin to relax is when I start to sort of feel it because normally throughout the day we hold tension in our bodies and sometimes we don't even notice it but we're stiff um, so when we begin to relax it starts to we start to notice that pain right we start to get uncomfortable and notice the body pain I can see how something like this is really useful in, um, you know, um, getting relaxed to the point, like it's not warming up your muscles like a stretch before a workout, but it is releasing um, something energetically. So that's really important, right? Especially when we're talking about like healing and energy, using energy healing modalities. All right. Um, this next one is 512, 512. They're getting bigger. This is the last um, tuning fork of this style that I have, and then we're going to get into the weighted ones. Here we go.
This one's really quiet. Like it gets, it's loud for a short period of time and then it gets really quiet, but it's, it's, it's like still vibrating just very gently. This is the 512. It just got louder for a second. Whoa. Okay, that was weird, but I, so yeah, I guess it landed sort of around here on like the solar plexus chakras where I felt like very comfortable with it and it it's still very quiet, but it's still going. That's cool. Longevity. Okay. Next we have 526. And uh, the, the weighted ones have like these little channels here. Um, and I guess you could put them by your ears. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm the, mo the most body sensations that I'm getting are he here down low in the root or in the throat and sort of like, um, yeah, I don't know if it's because the sensation is a sound sensation, it sort of activates my senses and it feels like sometimes it shoots out my eyes, but um, that's what I got, that's what, that's what I'm experiencing. Okay, we actually have two more sets left because these are the same. This is uh, 128. Uh, this is the 128 weighted tuning fork. And then there's one more set there, the, the lowest frequency. Okay, off we go. <laughs> it's just, um, you know, the hum. It's just a frequency that you're bathing in, essentially. When you get it really close to your ears, and you can do it in both, that's, that's awesome. You can play with how loud it is. Ooh, I kind of like doing one in the ear and then one scanning the body. I like that a lot because then you can sort of he see if you can carry that.
Um, also with two forks, you could maybe mimic Reiki um, hand placements. So for example, you got, you know, the crown and the heart chakra could be interesting. Now, if I was actually tuned into Reiki, like with the Reiki energy, that uh, maybe that's something to play with there. Um, I will say that my my the pain in my back that I had before I sat down has definitely subsided since starting this. I feel I feel pretty relaxed, pretty good. All right, the last one. These are 64s. All right. Here we go. And now I feel like I've just entered a vortex or something. Like it just it just hit me. I think putting the sound in both my ears. I feel um a bit insulated, insulated very calm uh, it's a very centered like um, yeah that was that was pretty effective I'd say okay now we go with the 64s it's even deeper Yeah, I feel like the tinglys, like um, like butterflies sort of going from the throat down here. It's like really activating a lot of, for me personally, it's like sending waves here. Maybe this is just where I need to balance my stuff out, but um, yeah, just reflecting on sharing, you know, what I'm experiencing and these are the tools I'll be using, right? So this is just how we learn. Now one fork, they actually sound different. They're supposed to be the same, but they're different. This one's got a whistle. This one doesn't. It's pretty consistent. The vibration is pretty comforting, like it's a subwoofer, but it's not like banging, it's just very thorough, very consistent. I can tell I'm definitely going to use this on my neck, like just like this. This feels great. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Just my left, see my left and right hands don't, they're trying to marry each other and they just don't. <laughs> they don't know how to do it. <laughs> but I have something like this.
So I can see myself using these like after a Reiki session. I don't know about during, but like if I had just done the done some Reiki or right before maybe. Uh, but I'll, that's probably something I'll experiment with is how to incorporate these. Um, if you have any insight as to how you use tuning forks uh, in combination with or as an experiment with uh, self Reiki treatment, I'd love to hear about it. So message me or drop a comment below. Let me know. And let me know if you like the video. I just thought it'd be fun to experiment on stage and share the experience for other people who are curious and want to learn. And um, yeah, don't be afraid to try new things, right? Have fun with it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for being here and I'll see you on the next one.